Well, a Maplewood 12-year-old was born with a rare congenital heart defect. It was treatable, but her doctor said that she wouldn't have the same lung capacity and athleticism as other kids her age. WCCO's Marielle Moe shows us how she proved them all wrong. Go from the top. Whether she's rehearsing or performing on stage, Finley Ashfield gives her all to dance. You know, I just love the art of it. I love that I get to move my body to music. Let that come up and around even more. She's been dancing competitively for Larkin Dance Studio since she was five years old. You can see her strength when you watch her dance, but being strong is something Finley learned from the start. 18 hours after she was born, she started showing some signs of distress. Her mother, Kaylin, learned Finley was born without a left pulmonary artery, which should connect the left lung to the heart. She had three open heart surgeries before she was one. Doctors at M Health Fairview Masonic Children's Hospital constructed a valve to function like an artery, but doctors warned that Finley would likely only have 60% lung capacity. She probably wouldn't be able to do marathons, extreme sports, things like that. And in that moment, it was perspective. We get to keep our baby. She will be healthy no matter what. Anybody with decreased blood flow to one lung uh, has decreased exercise capacity because they have to breathe harder. They have to breathe faster. Dr. Guru Hiramoth often tests Finley's exercise capacity on a bike. Nice job. Her results, she has 115% lung capacity of a healthy child her age. She has beaten all the odds. Hey, Finley! Finley tested those odds at a national dance competition in Las Vegas last summer, competing against hundreds of dancers her age from across the country. Our new mini female best dancer from Market Dance Studio. Let's go for She proved she can not only compete against the best, but be the best. It's just made me more confident with myself. You never know from seeing her dance that she's competing against her own lungs. But a scar left behind from her first surgeries as a newborn show all that she's been through. My scar is called a zipline. It's something Finley doesn't hide from her friends and teammates. Instead, she celebrates it. If I didn't teach anybody about it and if I wasn't open with it, nobody would actually know like the true me because this is like like a big part in my life. She hopes by being open, she can help others overcome their obstacles. Even though I do have like a disability, nothing can stop me from like going on to my dreams. In Maplewood, Mary Elmo's WCCO News. Finley will still need one more big surgery to get an adult size valve implanted since she will eventually outgrow the one that she uses now. And her next big dream is to someday dance on Broadway.